Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Uh, please dive into the videos if you're joining us for the first time or have uh, just looked at a video or two. Over 8,000 on the channel. Uh, we deliver the best in discussion, debate, and analysis with the help of guys like uh, Pat Murphy. You can join him on Bucknuts, the 247 sports platform for Ohio State Athletics. And uh, we're talking about Ohio State football, of course. Uh, we've discussed Ryan Day. We've discussed the linebackers. Check out those videos, but also Justin Fields, a guy that coming out of high school had Ohio State fans um, known that he was going to sign with Ohio State would have been through the roof. But with the comparison of Dwayne Haskins did this and Justin Fields went four of 13, which is meaningless, obviously, in the spring game. But that's the stage that it was put on. Uh, there are some questions about Justin Fields being good enough to take over this job and deliver the wins that are expected of him. He's obviously got the talent. Absolutely. Uh, you know, five star kid coming out of high school was the number two player in the country or number two quarterback in the country behind only Trevor Lawrence, who obviously won a national championship last year at Clemson. So, um, you know, the, the expectations when he committed to Georgia were, were very high. Didn't play a ton last year, was used in in a variety of ways. Um, so I just think there's still a lot of questions. Uh, you know, how will he do as, as the starter um, in a Ryan Day offense? You know, it took Dwayne Haskins, and, and you can debate whether Dwayne Haskins should have started earlier, but it took him a few years to, to get used to playing in this offense. Um, obviously, the offense will look rather different with Justin Fields, much more of a mobile quarterback running it than it did with Dwayne, who, you know, is, is your more prototypical pocket passer. But, uh, you know, it, 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 the, this, the, uh, the success of the offense this year, I think, will hinge on, on what Justin Fields can do for them. I envision that it will look a lot more like it did with JT Barrett. Braxton Miller, um, you know, a lot more of that read option game and stuff like that. But Ryan Day wants to develop a quarterback, um, you know, a, a passer. And Justin Fields certainly has that talent. They are going to have plenty of weapons around him with the the wide receivers, the running backs we talked about in the last time I was on. Um, so, you know, the the it's all there for them. Um, you know, he just has to go out in the field, show he's learned the offense. I think in the spring game, you saw some good things. You also saw some questions, but he'd only been in the program for a matter of a couple months at that point. Uh, he'll now have all summer to have worked with his receivers, worked with the running backs, worked with the offensive line. I think that will will uh, certainly help, but um, that's definitely something in going to fall camp. You expect Justin Fields to be very good, but you know he's got to show it. He's never started a game in college football, so until you see it, it's, it's going to be tough to, you know, assume that he's going to be as good as the standard has been at Ohio State. Justin Fields' uh, 2018 performance at Georgia basically consisted of him coming in the, into games in which they were winning by 25 or 30 points and getting an opportunity to throw the ball a little bit. Yeah. And then it also included playing meaningful minutes against quality competition, but coming in and not being allowed to throw the football. So he would come into a number of games, and I wasn't watching Georgia play every game, but I was watching the big games. And he would come into the game, and it's second and 12. And you knew that he was either going to hand the ball to DeAndre Swift or he was going to be able to run uh, based on his read. But he wasn't going to, they weren't going to allow him to throw the ball. Uh, because it was a tight game against Florida or LSU or somebody, and he wasn't allowed to throw the football, so we never really got to see him throw the ball under duress in a meaningful situation against a good opponent. Uh, Pat, you bring up the name Braxton Miller, and until I see Justin Fields play mm -hmm. consistently for Ohio State, I'm going to start out by making that comparison. Big, strong kid with all the talent in the world can run can throw a laser shot, may not be the most polished passer at this point, may need to prove that he has the concept of the offense and needs to be able to run it. But that's kind of my comparison at this point. Yeah, and I think from what we've seen, that's that's probably the best uh, comparison you can make. You know, we saw in the spring game, Justin Fields, obviously they were basically playing touch football with the quarterbacks, but when he did take off, you could you you saw some of that electrifying uh, ability that both he and and a guy like Braxton Miller have. Um, like you mentioned, a very good arm. I do think the accuracy is is something that is going to continue to be worked on. But I like the fact that he's going to be working with a guy like Ryan Day, who's shown he's very good at developing quarterbacks and passing quarterbacks. 
uh, Mike Yurcich, who they hired from Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's obviously produced uh, some some talented quarterbacks here in the last uh, handful of years. So the coaching staff around him should be good, should be will, uh, able to, to help him develop that side of his game, but it may take a while. And even if you go back to uh, Dwayne Haskins last year, you know, some of those games early on weren't nearly the the numbers, especially, you know, you look at the Penn State game, he struggled some in that game, you know, as he continued to become the starting quarterback. Now, you know, by the end of the season, obviously he was breaking records left and right, but, you know, it, it did take some time. So there may need to be some patience with a guy like Justin Fields as well as he continues to settle in and, and really learn this offense. Um, but like you said, he's got all the, the talent in the world. Uh, it's just a matter of, of making it fit with what they want to do and, and continuing his development. We enjoy the Ohio State football conversation with Patrick Murphy. Join him and the rest of the staff there, Steve Hellwagon included, at Bucknuts, uh, the 247 sports platform for Ohio State football. Patrick, uh, you're always invited. It's always a great conversation and insight and information from you. Great. Thank you. Anytime.